Can't overthink it, man. That's what I do. My wife says I underthink. You ever underthink anything? Ah, there's proof of that. I definitely underthink stuff. You ever walk into a garage sale and realize it's not a garage sale at all? It's just a dude sitting in his garage reading the paper? That's happened to me twice in real life. I didn't even catch on right away. He goes, can I help you? He's like, nah, I'm just looking. It's okay, I'm gonna look around. Gonna check out your personal stuff for no reason at all. That was a garage sale in my head for a full minute. That is a long minute for the other guy. What did he even think I was doing? Like it was the most uncommitted home invasion ever? Like I just wandered in. I'm actually gonna browse, see if your stuff's worth going to prison, so have a seat. And then I didn't rob him. How disappointing for him. How embarrassed would you be if people showed up to rob you and then just passed on your junk? <laughs> Just always that awkward dude, man. I wanted to be cool. In high school, I thought first day of high school, I'm gonna change everything. I'm gonna turn over a new leaf. So I got a skateboard. I was like, I'm gonna skateboard. That'll make me cool. And first day of high school, I ate it on my skateboard and broke my clavicle bone, which they can't set that bone. They just give you a padded brace that pulls your shoulders back like this. But you only have to wear it for the first eight weeks of high school. Mom was like, we'll put a sweater on you and no one will know. So that was me in a Christmas sweater in August. <laughs> People are like, what is, is that our mascot? What are we, the Christmas trolls? What is that? That's the dude who thinks everything's a garage sale. <laughs> <laughs>